Okay, hey everyone. This is your intellectual saviors of wrestling. We got the master of the brain damage, Martin, and the one and only Sam H. And this is the uh, YouTube creator tag. We've been fortunate enough to have been tagged twice by Ooh. our good friend Zandio. You gotta check him out, he does a lot of good gaming videos. Yep. So, some good stuff there. And also by the Baldy and Barty channel from Mr. Carl Barty, who also does a lot of gaming videos. <coughs> so, yep, we're accepting the challenge. We got um, 10 questions which we're going to answer. So, and then in return, there's a couple of people we got to tag to. Uh, Accept or not accept the challenge. Yep, gonna keep the chain going. So, uh, so what we got for number one? How long have you been doing YouTube? Ah, well, I don't know, we got like different stories here. Me personally, I've been on YouTube for a couple of years now. Yeah. I was on it on a previous channel. Yeah, and then uh, myself, when I uh, started collaborating with Sam, it's been about... Seven or eight months now, I believe, we uh, started yeah. somewhere in May time this year. Late May, early June. Yeah. To be fair, I'm really pleased with how the channel's going. It's already exceeded our expectations for the year. I was only hoping for ten subs, so we're pretty, we've pretty much smashed that. Yeah, and the, the fact we've got over 1,500 views as well for... Well, for our channel, I think that's quite an achievement. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty low-key at the moment, but it's getting there. Yeah. <coughs> so, then, when Sam stops dying... Ugh, <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> How many videos do we have on our YouTube channel? Oh, number two. Um, at last count, I think it was 97. Yeah, yeah we... Uh, Try and get out as much uh, weekly content as we can. Yeah. We've, we've had the occasional struggle or two, but we've uh, managed to do it quite well so far. Uh, number three. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> How's that going? Uh oh. So, number three is what was your most favourite video to record? Hmm. Tough one. Well, yeah. for me personally, it was the um, recycle bin with Albert. <laughs> we had a lot of fun with that one. <laughs> yes, we we really need to drag that back out <clears throat> of the bin. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I could put my finger on one, but yeah, I I quite enjoyed doing the recycle bin series as well. Just that one in particular, fun. just ripping off all his old gimmicks. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> whilst also reminiscing of uh, other people that we know or <laughs> used to know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you see, yeah, out of all the videos, that was probably my favourite one. Yeah. I mean, we've done a lot of fun ones, but that was one of my favourites. Yeah. yeah, they were quite fun. Uh, what are we on? Number five? Number four? Number four. Number four. Uh, who's your favourite YouTuber? Hmm. Favourite? You see, I don't really watch a lot of YouTube videos. Not the time. No, no, I mean, uh, as I say, I, I use my own YouTube channel for general browsing <coughs> and that. I've never posted a video personally on it before. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I suppose if you want to be technical and whatnot, uh, my favourite YouTuber is a guy based in Cleveland in mm. America, a guy called Good Game Bro. And uh, he mostly does... American football videos now, but yeah, he's a he's a pretty cool guy, and uh, yeah, he puts out a lot of good content. I suppose we can put an honourable mention to him, you know. Yeah, I guess uh, for me personally, there was a guy I was watching. I, can't I read his name down, Mister Happy Twelve Twenty Seven. He does a lot of Final Fantasy videos, yeah. which I quite enjoy watching. Yeah. Yeah. So, ah, next one. Number five. I don't think this one should be too <coughs> hard. Pick a YouTuber to collaborate with. Ooh, that is a tough one. Collaborate with. Well, as I, say, I think we possibly have to 
discuss and what not and uh, what to do on because obviously we uh yeah we're very we're, we're, we're mostly a wrestling channel but uh yeah, we're open to the idea of collaborations here and there, but uh, I think we definitely do one with uh, Zandiel. Yeah, that would be a fun video. He's always up for a laugh. Yeah. Uh, anyone you can think of? Hmm, tough one. You see, I'd quite like to collaborate on with some of the What Culture guys. They're pretty big wrestling fans. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They're pretty, they're pretty funny guys, <clears throat> and uh, some of the videos are in, very entertaining. In fact, I was there. Uh, I was watching one earlier. <laughs> Worst wrestlers of the year. <laughs> yeah, I think it would be fun to collaborate with them. But as always, we're we're open to collaborations. We just gotta get the right people to get in touch. Yeah. <coughs> I'm busy dying. <laughs> oh. Okay. Right. Uh, we we good for question number six. Let's do it. Well. <laughs> right. Uh, where do you see your channel in the future? Hmm. Tough question. See, for me personally, I'd I'd like to expand this to mainstream TV. In the future, I'd like to see this actually becoming a regular half-hour show on TV, on like an ITV or a or a sport channel or something like that. Yeah, it'd be be nice <clears> and, <throat> and that. I mean, obviously, uh, main thing is just to grow it and get a bigger fan base on YouTube and that and. Yeah, just sort of see where it goes with that, whether to expand it slightly. And, you know, obviously at the minute it's just purely wrestling, but yeah. whether we'd expand that in the future to maybe certain different <coughs> areas and whatnot. But for the time being, we want to keep it just purely wrestling. Related. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're having a lot of fun with it. We're, I mean, eventually we will expand into other areas, but for now I'm happy with what it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm just uh, reading the next question. Right, what number are we on? We're on number seven. I'm all. I'm already going to say I. I don't know for the next question, but I know you've already got an answer for this one. Number seven. What quote or saying do you live by? Hmm. Wow. Very, very, very good. Famous <sighs> lyrics from the main man. Miles Kennedy. Yeah, there's, there's one that I really live by. Well, two actually. Of course, anyone who knows me will know this this quote from White Knuckles. I'd have it tattooed on myself if I was allowed a tattoo. Yeah. Only the strong survive. <laughs> yeah. One of my favourites. And my other one, of course... <coughs> Is he dying over here? <laughs> There's something CM Punk used to say. It was, um, sometimes it's what you don't do that makes you who you are. Very wise words from the man. So, yeah, those are the two that I really base myself on. Yeah. Have you got any? To be honest, nothing really comes to mind at the minute. Yeah, you'll have a think on that one. Yeah. Oh. Move on to the next question, then. Number eight. Why did you start YouTube? Hmm. Well, if I had to answer, I'd guess mainly fun. Yeah. Because I, mean... I thought that we personally could offer a different perspective on wrestling. Yeah. Yeah, and plus, uh, I think between us, we've got a fairly good understanding of the wrestling world and whatnot and uh yeah just getting our voices out there and seeing whether people agree with us or disagree with us. yeah we just wanted to shine a light on <coughs> some of the good things and bad things yeah <coughs> and just have a bit of thumb with it yeah oh why am i dying <laughs> this is terrible We've already recorded two things tonight, and you were fine with the other two. I don't know what's going for this one. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, question nine. What challenges have you faced as a YouTuber, and how did you overcome them? Hmm, challenges. Well, I suppose a couple of them have been timing. 
It's yeah. difficult working it around our schedules. Yeah, and <coughs> on, on top of uh, finding time to uh, be available on that, also in in the back of our minds, right, we've we've got to get it out before this date. <laughs> yeah, time is always a challenge. Yeah, especially with the um, pay per view previews and reviews. Oh yeah, and of course the the editing and the artwork is a a little bit of a challenge. I've yeah. sort of got it down to a T now. I can normally get a video out in about an hour. Yeah. But no, I mean, other than that, it's been relatively straightforward. We haven't encountered any major problems yet. No. Getting that live gaming thing up was a bit of a bastard. Oh, jeez. <laughs> but we, we, we somehow <laughs> managed it. Yeah. Yeah, that was it. So, yeah. <clears throat> So, and then the final question, what are your inspirations for videos? Inspirations? Oh. Well, obviously the main one is wrestling and our, our <clears throat> liking or love for the <laughs> business. I mean, funnily enough, I was having this discussion with uh, someone at work earlier, uh, you know, People saw sort of like Tara and so I go, like, you know, oh, you're in your 20s and you still so watch wrestling. Oh, you know, you, you do know it's fake and it's just like, yeah, idiot. Yeah. Of course we know it's We've fake. We've known that for but, a very long time. But, you know, <laughs> as fake and <coughs> choreographed as it is and whatnot, you know, there there are real aspects to it and real risks and <laughs> nasty injuries and whatnot to it. Yeah, I suppose... Inspiration, I would guess, I would say, is finding something that hasn't been done before. Yeah. Because we're trying to break into a very secluded market. Yeah. There's a thousand wrestling channels out there. So my inspiration is personally is just finding something that hasn't been done before. Yeah. And working on that. So all of the series is that we've come up with, some of the ones that have been out there, some of the ones we haven't done yet. Yeah. It's all about finding something new, something different. Yeah, I mean, me personally, I've not come across someone who's uh, done done their own version of uh, our series, our, one of our first series, the Recycle Bin. No. Talking about uh, people that have been overused <coughs> in that, using uh, different characters and whatnot. No, we got a couple of good ones coming out as well. I mean, eventually, when we get the time, we're going to be doing the um, whole Ringbuster thing. Yes. Where we look at some popular myths and legends. Yeah. Yes, I look, <coughs> looking forward to finding some time to do that. Yeah. But as you know, work schedules and all that. Yeah. Bit of a bugger at times. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, so that wraps up for the question. So uh, right, so now we got to do some um, tagging. Yeah, some nominations. <clears throat> right. Well, I'm gonna go first. One of our recent subscribers, uh, Miss Rain Q. I've looked at her channel. She does quite a few wrestling videos herself, and also does videos on self-help about dealing with depression and anxiety and. So, of course, having suffered with a few of those myself, it's refreshing to see someone come out and openly admit to this and offer people help about it. Yeah. So, I'd quite like to see a video on her if she hasn't done one yet. Yeah. Yeah, sounds like a really cool channel. So, you should check her out. Yeah. And then, uh, then of course, uh, not 100% sure if they've got channels or one but we're... Uh, and do a shout out to a couple of uh, old college buddies of ours. The mean Gene Muddy. <laughs> Very good friend of ours. Yeah. Lots of uh, good old memories. <coughs> yep. Yeah. We're tagging you, Muddy. Uh oh. You gotta do it. Yeah. And uh, Mr. Legend of 99 himself. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. One of our good buddies, Lloyd Atkins. Yeah. <laughs> Still remember all, all of our uh, random 
background pictures and all the desktops and he he had that sketch of Harry Redknapp with the blink knife. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you want to go into it, you should have seen the one we did for the second year when me and him pranked Muddy. And hopefully he remembers this. Ah, oh, would this be the infamous Naked Midian picture? <laughs> yeah, the the story goes it was Naked Midian, and I'm not sure how he done it, but he put a picture behind that of Jesus giving the middle finger. <laughs> so Kaz, our teacher at the time, told Muddy to get rid of the Naked Midian picture, and he did, <laughs> and it was Jesus giving the middle finger. And Kaz was a very religious man who just lost the plot. <laughs> he flipped off. <laughs> Muddy! What is this? <laughs> I think Muddy went, Oh, it was... Sorry, Kaz, it was one of the boys. I don't know. <laughs> and I think he got a detention for it. I can't remember. Oh, dear. <laughs> but of course, me and Lloyd were just laughing in the background. Yeah. And she do. Yeah. So, yeah, those are our three. Yeah. Yeah, just like to in the, add to the collaboration thing. We'd also like to collaborate with Dan, if we didn't already say that. Yeah. I mean, we've known him for a while, so that'd be a fun collaboration. Yeah. And uh, thank the people for the uh, nomination. Yeah, thank you, Zanadiel and Carl Barty, for the nominations. Yeah. We hope this has given you a bit of an insight into our channel. Yep. So keep watching, we got plenty more good stuff to come. And we will see you on the next video. From your hosts, the Master of the Brain Damage, Martin, and the one and only Sam H. You have a happy new year, and we'll see you on the next one. Adios.